Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Horat Truck and we are playing Fallout 4 as Uris the Pacifist. In the last episode we killed three people, so the kill count is now by three total. Um, but a lot of them ended. You gotta be shitting me. Those guys gave up! I'm not gonna shoot them in the face after they pacified. After they are pacified. Oh, that's such bullshit. You're just a blood-hungry asshole. I... Why? Why, why is the game doing this? I'm really, I'm really fed up. Why? Why? Please tell me, these, these guys gave up? What, what more do you want? Eh... Uh. This pisses me off. I, I really gotta say it. It's annoying. And, and there's no need for that. Just let people run away. They gave up. It's it's not difficult to, to build that into your game. And even in, in Skyrim, you had people that said, um, Yeah, I give up. Please, no more. And if you let them live, after time they just get up and start attacking you again. What, what kind of weird thing is that from the side of Bethesda? I really don't understand that. Yeah, let's, let's not build a world that's believable. Let's just make it a killing simulator. And so, in the name of an advancing the game, normally, if I if this weren't a let's play, I heard you. Let's just stay calm. and a game pissed me off that much, I would just stop playing. Yeah, alright, so... Consider this, in a way, the end of my pacifist let's play. Because I'm really annoyed about that. I have to kill these people after they have given up. I have to shoot them in the face. Just because the game tells me to. Yeah, because that's not a valid way to do it. Freedom cause. Yeah. Kill the raiders. They won't open the door until all the attackers are dealt with. Dealt with is such a euphemism. They have given up. So what do you want? What do you want? Four of them have given up. Yeah. But for the sake of continuing this uh, this let's play, um, I'm I'm just going to do it. It's insane. And I'm I'm against it, but I'm going to do it because I want to see the rest of the story. But this is some this is some some bad shit. I'm telling you, I'm annoyed. Oh, and I got got the triple experience from Idiot Savant for killing this guy. <sighs> That's such nonsense. Such nonsense, but as this is the main quest, I've no choice. I've no choice but shooting people in the head that have that have already given up. Why don't you just run away? Just run away. Didn't even manage to kill this guy rightly. Alright, now I killed the raiders because that's what the game wanted. I hope it's happy now. And, yeah, you, no one can tell me that this is that difficult to program. That the people just, just run away instead of standing there and waiting for it to happen. Or uh, that you could tell them just run away and get out of here. Because that's that cannot be that difficult to do. That really annoys me, galls me. Now what do you want, bloodthirsty mass murderer? Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Maybe. I'm not glad to help. You owe me. Yeah, sure thing. I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're uh, out of this mess. <sighs> the world's changed so much. God, None of this it. makes sense. You all right? Listen, we need your help. And then maybe we can help you, huh? What brought you out here? Mm. 
looking for an infant boy. He's been kidnapped. Yours for tracking for someone else. Used to be a lot of families in this group. More than a few missing relatives. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. What are ghouls? Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and nope. live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Nah, They'll rip you again. apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. They have one idea. It's great that you have an idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I don't want anything to do with these murdering maniacs. No. Yeah, I might have to take a break after this episode just because I'm so annoyed. Hello? That Anybody I in there? Yeah. Don't piss me off. Palmer. What's that? What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'm out. Do your shit yourself. The answer's no. I'm out. Just like that, huh? You come this far then condemn these poor people to die? All right. Have it your way. Stay safe. Maybe at least one of us will survive this. Yep. I don't want to help you. I'm just annoyed by your... your... bloodthirst. I mean, it's not really the fault of these people if you... if you suspend your disbelief and... Accept them as people. It's not their fault. It's the fault of the, of the crazy, um, yeah, of the laziness, of the game designers that didn't give you the possibility to end this peacefully. No, I had to blow the heads off of all of these guys because that's the way it goes. Rocco fun. There that we go. Atomic Command holotape game. I mean, yeah, I'm going to take that. Thanks. Yeah, I'm I'm stealing all your stuff. Do anything against it. So I'm. You know that I already killed seven people just to save you five. And you want want me to do more killing? I'm going to. Yeah, I'm going to just Be rob yourself. Why you? Something coming. It's it's angry. What are you? Yeah. Dog meat sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. Dog meat. 
So, he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? You saw it? It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. The sight. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. Now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. Hmm. I see. I, I see. Oh, it's it's horrible, kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. That's all I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now, and you have a job to do. Whatever. So there's something evil coming to you. Maybe that's because you're just killing all the people that you meet? Were you? You all right? Oh, no, 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 no. What? <laughs> God, don't! Why? Why? <sighs> He's not really that sound of mind, is he? You all right? Yeah. I, I promised we'd get there. I promised. I, I promised we'd get there. I promised. I, I couldn't keep my promise. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so. S <sighs> no, he's called dog meat, and not dog. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Do you know any tricks? Hey, boy, you know any tricks? Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> Very nice. You did good. What's that perception bobblehead? There we go. Oh, your perception has been permanently increased by one. Perfect. That's perfect. I'm gonna take this. That's, that's really good because um, we needed one perception more anyway. We had only three, now we have four. And therefore we can learn can learn opening more complex um, locks. Marcy Long, who are you? You okay? You're with the rescue team? What? What rescue team? We can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. Somebody do something. There are more of you, right? You okay? The Minutemen were supposed to protect us. Garby promised. He promised. Hmm. Can I do that? Welcome to Robco Industries. Password required. So... I have to pick a word. I have to pick a word that has a lot of different things in it. I put pick that. No likenesses. So no H's, A's, R's, E and M's. 
that narrows it down. No ease. No ease. Hmm. No ease, really. Must be civil then. Got it. Yeah. So unlock the security gate. Oh, I I wanted to I wanted to look into the logs. What are the log entries? After hours tomfoolery. For the last time, the red coat mannequin displays are not toy soldiers and are not to be played with after hours. <laughs> Two of them have scuffed paint, and this morning one of the foot regiment pieces was missing his arm. This sort of horsing around will not be tolerated. Anyone caught engaging in such behavior will be written up, docked an hour's pay, and charged for damages. Chief Curator Harold Nash. Someone get maintenance down in the basement. Get maintenance down in the basement to deal with that roach problem. Do it now on the down low while the museum is open. Discretion is key. Cannot afford to close the museum again, nor is it acceptable for a child to find a cockroach in her hair as she's learning about taxation without representation. The situation must be resolved immediately. Again, the chief curator. Anchorage exhibit. After meeting with the director and board of trustees, I'm afraid I must deliver some rather dire news. Our planned anchorage exhibit has been put on indefinite hold. It is simply not within the museum's budget at this time to make the renovations necessary to accommodate such an ambitious endeavor. My thanks to the curatorial and maintenance teams for all the work that's been done thus far. Okay, final entry. Saturday, October 23rd. Yeah, that's the day the bomb hit. This is Megan Hayes. I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum of Freedom. I'm so scared. When everyone saw the flashes, they left, even Mr. Nash. They just ran away and left me here. Jerk! And then one of those army helicopter things crashed into the roof. I saw soldiers, but they looked freaked out. I just hid from them. I've only been in Massachusetts a month. I don't really know anyone. And I don't know where to go. I broke the lock on the curator's desk and took the gun. Going to hide in one of the rooms for a few days until things calm down. If somebody reads this, please come and find me. But if you try to hurt me, I swear I'll shoot you. Okay. So that didn't really help me. But it's, it's interesting nonetheless. Now, um, it seems I have to help these people. I mean, I already killed seven people to do it. Even though the game forced me to. I'm sorry if this is a bit of a ranty episode. I started this game out uh, in the knowledge that you could theoretically play the old Fallout games as a pacifist. Or at least New Vegas. And you could talk down some of the really bad guys in, in the old Fallout games. It doesn't look like you can do it this way when it just lets you... If it forces you to just casually kill off seven people... These raiders are humans too. I mean, they are misguided and misguided humans with ugly souls because they try to take stuff from other people. So I think, yeah, it's not that bad to kill them because if you... Oh, what are you doing? Where did you get that teddy? Hmm. If you take the sword... You will die by the sword in a way, and they are raiders and trying to take stuff from from other people, so they they get they get what they dish out, I guess. But they I pacified them and they gave up to me. I still had to kill them to to advance this this um, this plot, and that just annoys me to no end. I'm sorry if this episode was a bit ranty, but how can you do it? Would have been really easy to just. I don't know, run a check if, if they have been pacified and then say, yeah, okay, they just get out of the building or, or whatnot. You don't have always to kill everyone. So, 
But, yeah. Let's water down the bridge. We'll just get on with it in the next episode. We will be helping these pe people with their um, crazy power armor plan and possibly murder a lot more people. Our kill count has gone up to seven. I will still be keeping the count just so I can can show how many humans I killed after the at the end of the playthrough. That will be an interesting number. These seven were forced on me. Um. So, in a way, you can't really count them. I'm going to count them anyway, and I will hold them against the game. Sorry. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give me a like. If you didn't, please tell me why in the comments. Also, what do you think of this? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And, yeah, if you want to see more of this series, despite the fact that it's a murder-death-kill simulator, then please consider subscribing so you will be notified whenever I put up a new episode. I hope you join me next time. Thanks and bye bye.